An Urban Sky commercial was filmed right in the city. You'd never know it by looking at the beautiful models, soothing waters, and carefully staged shots, but one take of this advertisement was filmed in the middle of downtown Minneapolis. Looking closely, you can see the Walker Art Center in the background, and even catch a few glimpses of Nicolette Mall, as the model soaks up the warm summer sun on her lunch break. Just wait until you see where else this commercial was filmed. The Story this commercial for a cleaning service was filmed right here in New York. The cast, crew, equipment, everything. It all happened under our noses on December 11th between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. They even had to shut down some roads so they could film it. We're not sure who is behind all of these wild commercial shoots, but whoever they are, they're doing a great job. Check out photos from their shoot here. Who knows where they will pop up next? When a film crew shows up at your door. When working on a film shoot, everything needs to be as professional as possible. When a production crew shows up at your door, it's essential to know exactly what to expect. Film crews will typically contact their location coordinators before arriving, but if you don't know who these people are, or have any contact information for them, contact your local neighborhood association and ask for details. The process behind a film shoot. Before a film crew sets up on a street corner, they have to negotiate with business owners, work with the city council and follow municipal bylaws. All filming must be done on location, and commercial shoots are subject to strict regulations regarding noise, parking and other impacts. When permits are needed, they must be obtained at least two weeks before filming begins. That's why video producers need to do their homework. The Location with the downtown Atlanta skyline behind it, and a bed of leafy trees framing its front, you'd be hard-pressed to find a more aesthetically pleasing parking lot than Piedmont Park thanks to its proximity to Midtown, Buckhead and several neighborhoods in between, there is no shortage of foot traffic here at all hours. And who doesn't love walking through a park on their way home from work or school now and then? Pretty much everyone does. That's why we chose Piedmont Park as our location for our commercial shoot. It was perfect. What to do if they like your location? If they like your location and need you to stay, tell them you will remain at a reduced rate. Negotiate it down. Maybe they'll go with you if you throw in a few extras, perhaps not, but you have nothing to lose by trying. Worst case scenario is that they don't want to work with you, but remember, more jobs are out there than not, and hopefully, some of those other companies are looking for affordable locations. Create your camera angles. Often, you'll need to create different camera angles for one scene. If you don't have enough time or money to film a video more than once, ensure each grade is filmed from a slightly different position to give it visual depth. This will make your video look like it was filmed multiple times without needing various takes. Keep this in mind when moving between angles. Your subject should act differently and notice something new in their environment each time they move. Keep it safe yet authentic and exciting. And er if you live in a big city, you've probably seen these dudes floating around. Maybe they were even riding your bus or subway when you saw them. They tend to wear crazy costumes and yell out things like we're urban skies. Get ready for flights of fun. They might even have forced a flyer into your hand as they went by. But do you know where their headquarters are located? Do you know how much it costs to take one of their rides? Do you know what safety precautions they put in place before sending someone up high on a kite board attached to a parachute? The answer is no, most people don't. The Aftermath What would you say if we told you that we filmed our commercial downtown? We know, it's kind of unbelievable. But with our seven types of macarons and delicious hot chocolate, it makes sense that we'd want to showcase a little bit of Toronto. And who doesn't love watching some serious sunrise action in Nathan Phillips Square? Some pretty talented professionals did the entire shoot, but most importantly, it was done safely. We were lucky enough to work with someone from Ontario Safety Council on set during filming, 
she made sure everything went smoothly and safely.